it's Tyron logging on, bringing you a review of the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Kentrosaurus. This is from the Roar Attack subline. The sky is, uh, actually, I think it's supposed to be Pierce from the newest season of Camp Cretaceous. It's the same color and species, it just doesn't have it marked on the box for some reason. You can see he's got the three three stage attack and the three different sound effects like this line has. It's a pretty pretty nice figure. And let's see, it looks like they're co-advertising a Ceratosaurus and I think the Allosaur. Is that a new Allosaurus? It's a standard Camp Cretaceous box art. Let me grab my snips and I'll get this guy out of the pack. Now a lot of these uh, guys come with their tails separate. That's not unusual. This one actually has a couple of shoulder spikes too that have to be attached. Let's get the the blister card off here. There's one. There's the tail and the other spikes back in here. One. There it is. Get this out of the way. Now these are the one and done, so you just snap them in here and they don't come back out. It is snap in pretty easy, which is nice. No articulation on the front spikes, so they just clip in. Pretty standard Jurassic World tail attachment. Plugs in there good and solid. And here we have Pierce. Let's see, it's got a ball joint in the neck, but it is pretty darn stiff. There we go. It's got feels like a ratchet in the front, and then a swivel for out the out. The usual kick out back and forth on the rear legs, and then a ball joint in the tail. And it's got his button on the back here. So let's check those sounds out. Sound, and sound effects there. As you see, he's, for whatever reason, his front thrashes when you hit the button. You would expect the tail on this, but anyway. Okay. Let's see if I can get the head to focus here, but Pierce here actually has painted pupils in his eyes. You can see there's yellow around the rim, and then the center of the eye is skin colored. Not that bad little detail. Rest of the figure is shades of browns and yellows. Uh, see if I can get the foot thing to finally focus this time. Almost. Yeah, well, one of these days I'll get that. We're all in nice, nice little Kentro. Yeah, let's see. Let's see some strings on him. Let me uh, see who I got for scale here. Let me grab the ever trusty Darius figure. Where is he? Goodness, 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 goodness. Here we go. There's Darius. All right. So here's a side by side. Right. Darius is almost always my go to for this because, in least dinosaurs that appear in Camp Cretaceous, pretty much guaranteed to interact with Darius. So he makes a good size example. Oh, just knocked him over there. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, this is a very nice figure. I picked mine up over at Target. They had quite a big display of them. I'm not sure if he, this one ships solid case for the holidays, because I couldn't find any other Roar Attacks when I went. Don't know if people just really didn't like Kentro or... If he was all in one. Anyway, yeah, I picked this one over at Target. I'm pretty sure you can get him just about anywhere. And I do really like this Kentro. It's nice to have a Stegosaur that's not a Stegosaurus. Just 
Get him out of the way. And, uh, oh, this is, it's got really different scale patterns on him too, which is nice. There's a lot of details on this one. I can't help but gush over this intro, but I love these kind of dinosaurs. Well, this is going to wrap it up for me today. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And this is Tyrant signing out.